And you believe that we should start fostering that emotional IQ in the cradle, actually. Well, I think that parents, you know, good parenting really means helping a child feel that they're cared about, tuned into, empathized with, and any good parent does that. Mm -hmm. But if you have that base, that secure base, then you can care about other people. Then you can manage yourself better. So I think that parents are the first tutor in emotional intelligence. So we can teach ourselves and we can teach our children to have a higher emotional quotient. Absolutely. And in schools, this is called uh, social emotional learning. There's a lot of it going on. They're hoping to make it national, part of the national it standard. It should be national. I think it should be international. Frankly. I think it should be international. Well, you know, I have learned at my school that that is what really matters. I started out looking for one thing, and now I know that having uh, w basically what social emotional learning is is developing character right. and a value system, and what a lot of educators now call grit that thing that allows you to keep going and have resilience mm -hmm. in the face mm -hmm. of failure right. and to self-awareness, to know who you are, all of those things far more important actually, or certainly equally as important to how well you do in math and science. Another word for grit is technical, it's cognitive control. I was in a school, second grade classroom in Spanish Harlem. These are kids who live in the projects next to the school. Terrible, you know, the, the drug dealers are the most All successful people All the worst conditions, there. yes. Worst conditions you can imagine. Every day, they go, each kid goes to their cubby, gets a little stuffed animal, finds a place to lie down on the rug, puts that animal on their tummy, and watches it rise on the in-breath and fall on the out-breath. Count one, two, three on the in-breath, one, two, three on the out-breath. Teacher says, this keeps them calm and focused all day long. And this basically a lesson in mindfulness. It's a mindful meditation. And it turns out that what, from a brain point of view, what you're doing is strengthening the prefrontal cortex, which is the mind's executive center. It's the boss. It's the one that learns. It's where we plan, where we decide, and where we become mindful. And that, uh, it turns out that if you take kids four to eight, measure their ability in this, and then pick them up in their 30s, it predicts their financial success and their health better than IQ or the wealth of the family they grew up in. Really? Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today and we'll see you on YouTube.